Thanks, Ben. Uh, thank you for having me, and thank you very much, everyone, for joining the sessions, depending on where you are coming from. Uh, so, what I'm going to cover is like within very quickly uh, five quick tips to cover your data model. If you have a large data model, if you're struggling to work with your Power BI data model, I hope these tips will uh, help you to clean up your data model. So, brief introduction to myself. My name is Asan Padmukumar. I'm a senior BI consultant, a company called Curious in New Zealand. I've been working with related technology close to 11 years now. So whenever I get an opportunity, I tend to, you know, share my experience and knowledge with the community. You can correct me from the LinkedIn. You can follow me on Twitter. I have a Twitter handler here and you can go to my blog and have a read through and see if there's anything interesting that you would like to read. Cool. So with that one, we'll come to the my demo. So everything is demo. I have a Pavia data model I created using uh, uh, Contoso Retail DW. I have back online sales and related uh, dimensions within here. And if I go to my files, you will see that I have created a copy of my PBX file just to show how much I do the optimization, how much I do the cleaning. So it's the PBX file within the disk is actually 729 uh, megabytes. is close to like uh, so it's 639, close to 700 MB. So you know that from Power BI side, if you have pro licensing, the maximum size of a data model is 1 GB, and the maximum size of the, the upload size is 1 GB. The maximum size within the service is 1.2 GB. So this is reaching my maximum size. Even if it's not, it's really hard to work with the big PBX file within your Power BI desktop. So what I want to do is like I want to clean this model. I know that I do. Obvious choice is either to delete tables so or I'll delete the columns or something like that, but I don't know which columns to delete because I can start deleting all the unwanted columns, but then again, I'm not sure the you know which will make an impact. For that one, to understand how each and every table and column take the space, I'm going to go for my external tools ribbon and I have installed the DAX Studio and I'm going to connect to DAX Studio, connect from DAX Studio to book my hot BI model. So it is it will connect to my tabular model behind the scene in my uh, Power BI model. And you will see that all those tables, I'll explain what this table uh, in a while. I'm going to go to the advanced section and there's something called view metrics. When I click the view metrics, it actually connect to my tabular model and it will give me information about how my data model or each individual table is stored or use the data just the, use the space with my model, right? So it gives an overview of how much it will take, like within the, this is 629 MB, but within the memory, it's 1.5 GB. And then if you go to each and individual table, you see that fact online sale is actually taking almost 99% of your total space, total size of your data model, right? And you can see a lot of other information as well. And if I expand the table, you will see that each and individual column wise, how much each column take within the space. So almost 50% of your total data volume, total data space is actually taken from the load data column. And the second is actually 30%, almost 30% space is taken from the checksum column, right? So I know that these two columns is no longer required for me. I don't do any analysis, any analysis of these two columns. So if I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna quickly go and delete these two columns because I already know that this take a lot of space in my model. So for that one, I'm going to quickly go to my model and go to the first column, which is checksum column, right? And the delete from the model. And the other one was six cells online uh, key, which I don't want to do any analysis, right? So let's go to sales <coughs> online key and delete this column, right? I'm going to click in here while it's working on that, then I'm going to save this one, right? It will take some time to reflect all the changes saved here, so I keep it over there. And then you see that there are certain set of columns available, certain set of tables available here, which is not available in my, in my Power BI model, right? I don't see these long GUID uh, tables with the load local date table. Where are these tables coming from? Where did this all this table came from? The problem is like when you have a date time column in the Power BI model, like something like this load date, what Power BI by default do is create a one table behind the C. So you will not see it in here, but each and every date time column is actually a table to Power BI. So it will take space. If you see this, again, for the tabular model, this table is actually taking a certain amount of space. This is the second biggest column in my, uh, second biggest table in my data model, which I don't want to. 
how can I remove this one? So you go back in here, go to the files and go to the options and settings, go to the options and over here, let me open the options, go to the current file in the data load, there's something called time intelligence. It has its auto date time of property, which is ticked by default. I'm going to untick this one and click OK, right? So if I do that, if I talk to the Power BI DAX Studio, so the DAX Studio, you will see that all those tables are going, going away, right? You don't see those tables because it's removed and all the space are cleared up from the model itself, right? You don't see those columns anymore. Then let's, I think I save this one. If I go to disk again, you will still not saved here. Yes, saving right now. We'll see how much impact that made to the disk when I remove those uh, daytime columns, daytime tables, as well as those unwanted two columns I created, right? Still working on that one. At the same time, I want to show you something else, which is the next tip I'm going to show you is like this load table, right? So the load table is actually a daytime column within my model, right? But because of it does not have, uh, it, because all of, almost all the daytime within my model is unique, is the cardinality is a high value, which means that Power BI model cannot no longer uh, cannot no longer uh, compress the data, right? So which means that it takes a lot of space in my data model, which because the Power BI model it actually could work as a column store. It tried to compress the value if you have a unique value, so high cardinality values. It tried it basically can't compress, so it tried to store the data as it is. So let's go back once I save the data. So from 200 and 629 MBs, because I removed these two columns, it has reduced to the 287 MBs. Now what I'm going to do is like, rather than having this one, this column as date time field, I'm going to break into the date as well as time. So if I go back to the model, I'll show the, how the values in the fact online sales. I have the load date, which has the date time field. Then I'm going to break in. I'm going to break this into the time as well as date while keeping the same information, but in a different manner rather than having it in the same column. So what happens is, if you see in the cardinality wise, this has like almost 12 million unique values in this field, whereas in this one, the date only it only have a six four hundred and uh, sorry four thousand nine hundred unique values, whereas in time you have eight six thousand uh, unique values. If you combine it like 90,000 unique values, whereas in the date time column, it has a 12,000 unique values, but same information, right? Because, because it cannot compress anymore, it take a lot of space. So what I'm going to do is like, I'm going to quickly remove that column because I already have the required information as date and time. So let's delete this column as well. Yeah. And then save this one. Let's see what happened to my Power BI model when it's come to the space, right? It's 289. Let's go back. It's 98 MB. So 629 to 98 MB. The next tip I'm going to show is like how much space. Let's go back to the tabular model and do refresh it. And you will see that. So the uh, vertical analysis and refresh, you will see that the uh, these two columns. Uh, margin calculation, margin, and all those columns is actually calculate column within my data model, right? So these columns is actually I used to create the margin calculation, but each and every one is actually calculated column. But same thing can be achieved from a measure which does not take any space. If you check the margin calculation measure over here, which is this one, which basically not a calculated column, it's a cal calculated measure which basically does not take any space in my model. Whereas if you create a calculated column, it will take space in your model. So the idea is like you remove all these calculated columns whenever possible and replace it with the calculated measures, which does not take any space. So if I remove those things from my model, which is all the required column for the margin calculation, started from the margin, I remove the margin calculated column, and the margin calculation uh, percentage uh, calculate column as well because I have all written a measure for that one. Let's take some time to reflect it. 
Yep. Still working on. Still working on this. It is some time to delete a column in here. Yeah, so because it, when it, the problem is like this, when you have a large data volume like this, I have to remove this one because I have to use this one. Yeah, so the problem is like when you have a large uh, data volume like this, it, when you try to work in a small modification, it takes a lot of time to do the uh, work in the Power BI. That's why we want to refresh all the, uh, you know, clean up all the data. So when you save all those, I don't have time to clean, remove all the columns. The idea is like if you remove those unwanted calculated columns, it free up more space as well. So if I go back in here, you can see that this from 629 MB to is close to like 100 MB. Right? So for that quickly, we can free up a lot of space in your Power BI model if you do use the VertiPack analysis and analyze the data. And uh, let's go back to the quick tips. What I did was the first tip was to use VertiPack analyzer to understand the space and then remove unwanted high carnity columns. And tip three is replace calculate columns with the measures. And tip four is reduce high count reduce high cardinality of a column when possible, which means that, for example, like date and time break into the date and date time column break into the date and time and remove the auto date option in the Power BI. So with this five tips, we reduce from 600 MB to 100 MB in the Power BI file. Uh, for the resources, for how do you download the uh, uh, Dax Studio, you can go to the SQL BI tools page and you can download the Dax Studio and there are a lot of other third party tools as well. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it.